Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick video just showing you uh, the best way to paint baseboard when it's uh, on carpet. So you can see I don't have any drop cloths down. Um, for myself, I don't really have any um, issues with just painting the baseboard and getting nice and close to the carpet without actually getting it on the carpet. So you can see I'm just gonna just get right down to the bottom there. Um, I like to use these inch and a half brushes, but for somebody that's not too comfortable with um, doing the brushwork down to the carpet, I would say get, get yourself one of these um, drywall, um, drywall knives. Something that can, uh, it's so thin that you can easily get it under the baseboard where it meets the carpet. And then you don't have to be so cautious and you don't have to worry about getting it on to the carpet. So you can see how easy that is. Now some, it might be a little bit tight, like that's a bit tight, but you can see it just, it works really well to, uh, to be able to paint up against the carpet. Um, so this is just a tip for somebody that is not very experienced. Um, another thing I would say is you do not want to have too much paint on the baseboard. You don't want it to run. So see when I pull my drywall knife out, then I don't want it to be too heavy where it's going to run. So I would say put on what you saw me put on. Um, with the Seco Dorn trim paint, I really find I don't get runs if I put on this amount of paint. With the Benjamin Moore Doran trim paint, I do find that you have to watch how much you put on. It doesn't seem to set up quite as fast. It's very good paint, but it just doesn't set up as fast. With the Seco uh, Doran trim paint, this stuff, I find it sets up very quick, so I don't worry about um, getting any paint runs. So, uh, yeah, just a tip for the DIYer uh, trying to paint baseboard on carpet.